Hello there. This is my review of the Enjoy electronic cigarette. I got these as a promotion from them. They had um, free samples basically on their website, so I took advantage of that. And I also bought one. Uh, this is the Enjoy King Premium Electronic Cigarette. Enjoy King. Finally, smokers have a real alternative, the new Enjoy Premium Electronic Cigarette. It's the first e-cig with the look, feel, flavor of the real thing. Each king has a real paper feel and soft filter. And there's no cigarette smoke, only vapor. But the most satisfying thing is the part you can't see, the authentic flavor, <clears throat> which we'll talk about, developed in the USA by our master flavorist. Try one for yourself as our free gift to you. We're confident you'll experience what many smokers have already. Everything about the new Enjoy King is game changing. We hope you'll continue to spread the word about the Enjoy King and remind adult smokers that finally there is a real alternative to cigarettes. Now, I've been vaping. You know, I started with my ego, moved up to a mod. Um. I've been doing it about three months, but I know quality and I know junk. Okay. I've tried I've tried the um, the Chinese juices. They're disgusting. I swear they add some sort of tar, actual tar to it. It's got like a diesel smell undertone. That's that's horrible. It's just horrible. And in particular, that's hang sin and decaying. Some people say I got a knockoff of it. I don't think so. I bought it right from China. But anyway, uh, comes in, you know, sealed in a nice wrapper. There's a coupon inside if you want to buy a full pack of them, $29.95. This is $6 off. So here's my fresh one that I just opened. It actually has a pretty neat case, sort of like the old Zippo uh, lid. So it gives you that feel of a cigarette pack in a sense, I guess. And the vape isn't bad. It isn't bad. It isn't. <laughs> it isn't gourmet, but it isn't bad. What I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to mimic the carcinogens that are in cigarettes. Instead of going actually after a smooth tobacco, maybe a sweeter tobacco, um, they're going for that, oh, you know, that shock in the face type of, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it could be better. If there is a master flavologist out there and he's listening, you can do better, man. You can do better. Um, Use USP grade, which is food grade, PG, VG, flavorings with no dicetyl. I'm probably saying that wrong, but with no chemicals, all natural, and sweeteners as well that are all natural. If you go with that, you can't go wrong. What we don't need are unnecessary additives for preservation or whatever you're putting in there. There's no need for it. Just uh, turn the product over quick enough and you don't have to make it last for years on the shelf. Give it a birth date so then they know, you know, have an expiration date on them. There's a code on the bottom, but it's nothing about a date. No. So anyway, I vaped one till it was dead. And the other one you just saw me open. This is the one that's dead. Maybe not. I 
I got them mixed up. Well, I get a pretty good vape out of them. The filter squishes just like a real filter. The paper has little lines so it looks actually like paper. And the neat thing about it is it's it's real light. Um, I can put it in my lips and just hold it there like an actual cigarette. So there are applications where I could see using this um, if I'm out fishing especially like a fly fisherman that likes his vape but doesn't have the room or the extra weight would be you know taken away from his fun stuff a couple of these in your pocket you're good for the day they say they're supposed to mimic two packs I disagree but I'm thinking maybe they went shy on the samples so <laughs> I don't know I I would hope the ones that you get off the shelf last a lot longer than the, the samples did. I'll just say that. They're decent. They have a little bit of a they have a little bit of a harshness to them, but that satisfies you real quick. Um, again, it's it's not gourmet stuff, you know. Um, you're not going to be getting blueberry fluid from these. These are um, decent for what they are. The price could be a little bit less. Um, this particular company, Enjoy, has a program where you collect eight of these, they go dead, you know, you use them up, save them. You save up eight of them, you mail them into Enjoy, and then you get one or two back. You get something back. There's an exchange program. Look into it. Go to their website. Um, well, just Google Enjoy. It's one word. N and Joy. And, uh, look for their return program toward the bottom of the page and it's a decent deal you know uh, if you've never tried vaping and this is your first experience you'll be turned off so just realize that these are good for what they are but you can go farther um, <laughs> this is the one I use at home if I'm going out and about I'll take this with me but there are applications where something this light and easy and under 20 bucks, you know, would come in handy. All right, well, I'm not going to keep on going on, but I just wanted to give you my two cents on this and uh, my opinion. You know, I'd, they're not the quality, I'm repeating myself, but... Here we go. One of these flashed at me last night, and I thought it was dead, but apparently if you let them sit a while, they'll still vape. Hmm. Maybe I overheated it, because I was, you know, dragging and dragging, so maybe there's a stop limit to it. That's probably it. This one's hitting really weak, so this must be the one that is aged. And this is the newer one that I just opened. So the battery does decrease. You know, it's fresh this one's first out of the package. And it tastes just like um 
if you're on break and you got to get back in 10 seconds and you bogart the cigarette and you get a cherry that's an inch long, that's what it tastes like here. It gives you that that flavor. It's not meant for real flavor, as in, ooh, that tastes good. It's meant as it, to mimic the taste of a cigarette. That's the best way I can describe it. So thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll be doing more reviews about vaping stuff as time goes on. So thanks for watching. Hope it helped. Uh, give me a comment. Anyway, thank you, and bye for now.